Hey everyone, this is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas, your board certified plastic surgeon, and this is your plastic surgery nip. It's a collection of important bits of information to help you in your plastic surgery journey. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll give you the power of knowledge so you can make better decisions to reach your aesthetic goals. Today we're gonna to talk about breast augmentation, the procedure. So the reason I chose that is because it's one of the top procedures in the United States, so I figured you guys should know how it all goes down. We start with a consult. We meet, you let me know what's important to you, what look you prefer, and then we move on to taking measurements in an examination, which helps me decide for your body specifically what implants will fit to match along with the look that you're going for. Then we move to the operating room. In the operating room, you'd be asleep under anesthesia, but I would make a pocket, usually under the muscle, that fits the exact size of the implant that we choose for you. Once we do that, we're gonna then insert some in breast implant sizers and inflate them so that they match the size that we believe is gonna look best on you. But we don't stop there. We're gonna go ahead and sit you up. Don't worry, you're strapped in and it's a mechanical bed, but we're gonna have you sit up so we can actually look at it the way you would look at it, sitting or standing. Then we can evaluate how it sits and if there's any adjustments we need to make for your anatomy so we get the look we want. Once we've done that and determined the right size of the implants, then we lay you back down and we take out the implants in sterile technique and use what's called a Keller funnel to insert them. Now a Keller funnel is a fancy little device that allows me to do an insertion of the implant with minimal touch or rather no touch technique which decreases the risk of contamination and it makes the entry of the implant much smoother so we decrease the, any damage that could happen to the skin since it's such a small opening that we're using. Not everybody uses it, I do. It's more expensive but for, me, for my patients it's worth it. Once we've done that, then we close the incision in layers, and then we wrap you up and wake you up from anesthesia. When you wake up, you're gonna feel pretty sore, like you did a ton of push-ups, and they're gonna look pretty big and perhaps a little bit high. That's normal as a, in the recovery process, they will settle in the, in the following weeks. Remember, good things come to those who wait. So that was a little overview of the breast augmentation procedure for you to get an idea of what it's about. For more details and obviously to decide what's exactly best for you, come and see us for a consult. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe, leave us a comment, give us a like. If you're listening, leave us a rating. It's our oxygen. If you have any topics you'd like for us to talk about, please send them in and we'll try to fit them in in future episodes. Definitely check out our website, spsmiami.com, for more great content and cool before and after photos. This is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas, and this is your plastic surgery nip. Talk to you soon.